is nothing that I cannot do because I got the power to make mountains move. Anything that comes my way can't stop me because I'm on my way. All I gotta do is open up my mouth and say, I Hello, I'm Antoine Dandridge, and I'm here with the star of the web series Bash. But this must be one of the most important interviews I've done so far. <laughs> really? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not, Bash? I mean, people just seem to love you. I mean, are you really that lovable of a person in real life? I like to think so, but um, I guess it's more of an overwhelming feeling so far because you you see yourself on the screen and you don't really see it as you. You just imagine yourself as as that character. But then when you actually see the feedback from the fans, that's when it really hits you that this is real. It's real. So how long have you been acting? Um, this is actually my first. This is my first gig. This is my first. Ever? Uh, yeah, ever. Wow. So how did you even get involved with this? Like a first time? Um, I actually you? got in touch with uh, my friend Corey, who plays Trey, of course. Oh, okay. And uh, he basically contacted me and told me that they needed help on a film and that they wanted somebody for a, like a side role. So I came in, you know, did a little couple words versus a um, couple things happened along the road and an uh, opportunity opened up and I took it. You don't do oohs and ahs. You don't do sides. <laughs> you're, you're lead material. I guess so. I, I like to think so. So it's been a part of the show. Has it has it impacted you in way like in public or social media? Because, I mean, you tend to be like a fan favorite, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, I, I like to think so. So, Lil Bash, I mean, how do you respond to being... A sex symbol. Did you feel like a sex symbol? Like, I don't think I would call myself a sex symbol. I don't think I would ever call my sick, myself a sex symbol. That to me would be somebody like Prince, somebody mm -hmm. that's on the statue that has that that's on a pedestal where they can be a sex symbol and be somebody that somebody can look up to and actually in a positive way rather than something negative that most people think of as a sex symbol. That ain't what the kids say on those blogs <laughs> on the YouTube comments if you check those out. They are just really digging you. Like, does it? What does it do to your self-esteem? Does it make you feel? Do you have a big head yet? I mean, what's going on with that? No, I don't think I will even allow myself to have a big head because I, mean, I don't want to lose the self-respect I have for myself. Rather than thinking of what other people think of me, I don't want to get caught up in what other people think of me. Rather, I want to value myself rather than value what other people think of me and their opinions. Are you dating? I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> so. People wanted to know that question. I mean, so, you know, they wanted to know the question, so you answered. So, you know, what, if your inbox on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, pals up or, you know, you have an assistant who's going to help you check all this stuff. No. <laughs> I'm a, I can do that myself. I, I don't need nobody to help me with that. <laughs> this is funny. So, when you're preparing for the role of Bash, like, what is your process? Like, what do you do? I usually go somewhere where it's really quiet, where I can use meditate, think to myself, somewhere I can... Just connect with who I'm about to play with, play as, or the uh, other characters that's going to be in the scene. Because you never know if it's going to be a, a scene where it needs to be a lot of laughter or it's a lot of emotion that's built into it. So I feel like you should go to um, a, a quiet place where you can actually sit down and meditate and get yourself prepared for it. Awesome. Now, is there any relationship between Joshua and, and Bash? I think there's a lot of similarities because, um, probably not as much as people may think, but... Um, <clears throat> with the name Bash, I'm I'm very bashful when it comes to me as a person, Josh, and um, when it comes to me and my friends, I'm I'm as loyal to my friends as he is with his friends, and I like that connection that I could put piece different parts of myself as with him as well as learn from his character the parts that I don't have for myself. So what what kind of feedback have you gotten about the show, like? I've gotten a lot of positive feedback so far. I think there's a lot of people that enjoy what Bash is so far as a character as well as meeting with his friends and how he interacts with his character because it's different parts of gay life that you don't see in the mainstream that you can actually see and what may go on in everyday life and what you can see in Bashful and a lot of people could connect that way so it's been nothing but positive responses because they're actually enjoying the show and enjoying the storyline mm, it's interesting you use the word mainstream so in relation to the mainstream persona of black gay men how does Bashful change that? 
<clears throat> it gives a different outlook and more of a in the, where you can look into the window of an actual gay life here in the mid south or what you can say here in Memphis. You can actually see different things that they may go through emotionally or with their family or with their friends. Something that you really don't see in their everyday life because all you see is them downing, you know, gay black men or in the mean, uh, media or in, like in the movies, it's always the messy guy or it's the messy character. It, it always plays out to be something that gay men actually aren't. There's more than what you see that's on TV. And you get a lot of that from your friends. You guys are not necessarily all messy and supportive. Exactly. That. Okay, cool. So like in your real life, are you like with your, with your friends, you guys like ride or die? Y'all riding up on food? Oh, most definitely. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think riding up food on foods would be part of our, our <laughs> out of uh, completely. Because I mean, you was a little crazy with the guy in the scene when he stole the dog and all this. Oh, stuff. yeah. Well, because you have to play into the character. And when you play into that character, Bash is that person that will go there. But me, I don't think I would get as physical as, as Bash may get in certain circumstances. He was awful convincing to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, look. From this point, like, in the show, we ended the scene with you having this conversation with your mom. Um, apparently, you know, this is a big deal. You know, yes. the black community, mothers and sons don't talk about being gay. I mean, was that related? Did you relate to that from a personal experience? Or? I did, actually. Um, I mean, growing up here in the Mid-South, I think the majority of the gay black men will grow up in certain circumstances when it comes to their parents and how they feel. Uh, they could be mirrored as how Ursula feels about Bash or how she calls him lucky. Um, I think it's a lot of experience in, that I had when growing up with that I can match with his that helps me go to that certain emotion and that certain place that Bash feels in the scene that you're going to see in the next episode with him and his mother Ursula. Wow, this is going to be awesome. Well, we can't wait to see that. Thanks. Okay, so Bash, we pretty much know that the cast and, and the project revolves around the black LGBT community, right? Right. Now, how do you think that people outside of the black LGBT community could relate to Bash as a character? That's a good question. I, I believe that a lot of people can see themselves at different, as different characters regardless if it's the main cast or whether it's supporting characters because you have somebody like Celeste who's played by Miss Ursula. She's the mother of Bash and you can place yourself as a mother of, of a gay person and you can mm -hmm. see picture the emotions that she has and see what she's going through and you can learn something from that. Mm -hmm. Or you can see somebody from different characters or you can take aspects, let's say, from Bash. As a biracial person, you can take something as how he feels as a biracial person as you will see different scenes that will you know, be reenacted in, in the uh, episodes. Or you can see yourself as, as many different aspects or emotions of, of the characters that you can take away from. Mm -hmm. Right. So has being biracial for you and being gay been a struggle? It has at some certain points of my life, not all points, but it has been certain points where it had your lows and you had your highs. You had certain certain um, certain family members that will call you certain names or certain things. You know, there wouldn't be a placement as as being biracial, as well as being gay. Wow. All right. So, do you? How do you look forward to helping someone else address that or handle that in your character? Will Bash as a character do that? I think as as a character, Bash is profound in, in his stances. I believe that you can actually see what he stands for. He stands for what he believes and a lot of people can take away from that because you can see that strong will that he always has for what he believes in and a lot of people can learn from that. Now you're not going to become a little bit of bitch now Bash are you? Of course not. <laughs> I don't believe that. I believe you should humble yourself at all times and, and keep yourself... Now you're talking about you talking about the character. No. Because <laughs> he get a little feisty. Some, yeah, he does get a little feisty, and, and in those scenes, you have to really prepare yourself mindset-wise for those scenes, so that way you can in, reenact it in the best way you can. Well, I, I can't wait to see some of the softer side of Bash, though. I know it's in there somewhere. Most definitely. You'll see all sides of Bash. You'll see the the soft points where he's get very emotional. You get the points where he's very low in life. You'll see parts where he's feisty, ready to fight, stand up for his friends. You get all aspects of, of Bash, and you just have to t uh, stay tuned in to see it. Well, we're definitely going to stay tuned in. So what are, your, what are your takeaways from the show? What do you want people to take away from you at this moment as of episode four? I want them to see that it's more to people, which is gay people. There's more than just what you see as I. It's not just a person that you see every day at the work, a gay guy that might be messy or starting up in a lot of drama. That's not every gay person in America. There's not every gay person in the Mid-South. This is a window where you can actually see into our lives or the people that we're depicting as and the characters. And uh, I think it gives a better insight of, of what you can see. And I think that would be something great that people can take away from that. 
I think that's an awesome takeaway, and I thank you so much for spending some time with me today on the show. Thank you, no problem. Right. Thank you. So this pretty much wraps up the interview with Bash. Don't forget to check out the web series Bashful, and we want them to like it. Most definitely, like, share, and comment. Absolutely. Thank you.